today I'm going to show you guys how you can get some really cool effects using my free effects pack that's located on my website. Now as you might know I have some effects packs for sale but this one is completely free. I'm going to be updating it over time so definitely head there and download those and you can get some of these cool assets for your edits. Now today's video is going to be a little bit less in depth than my normal ones but if there's any effects you want me to cover in more detail I'll either link them in the bio or I'm down to make them so just shout that out in the comments. But without wasting too much time let's just jump right into it. So right here you see that we have this really cool paper effect going on here but when we take off some of these adjustment layers and even take off some of these effects you can tell that the original shot is a lot simpler. So that's the OG one right here. But then, just to make it a little bit more trippy, kind of have it look like a lucky video, I added uh, Posturize Time and Echo. Now I have a little bit of keyframe action going on here, but it's nothing crazy. And just like that, you can see that we get a little bit more of the effect that we're trying to go for. But if I actually turn on this layer, you can see that we have Lumetri Colors selected, and we'll go over to Creative. And I'm using my classic orange and teal LUT. So this just gives it a little bit more of a dynamic look, if you're just what you're going for. And yeah, on top of that, we just drop this paper loop. Um, on its own, it's like mad simple, but if you just put it into your timeline, and I have my blending mode set to overlay, it already just looks like really sweet. And to top it off, I actually have this overlay that I'm just kind of using as a film burn transition. And I think that for this one, I just have it set to overlay as well. And just like that, you can get something really cool. And yeah, over here, we're more or less doing the same thing. Uh, definitely echo pasteurized time on some of these clips and they're like mad shaky but for this one I'm actually using my black paper loop and I have a sense of vivid light so you can see just playing around with the blending modes and adding a bunch of different effects you can sort of customize this and come up with something really cool now over here I'm showcasing my film scans pack I actually have a whole tutorial where I show you exactly how you can get those two effects with the Polaroid kind of popping up I'll link that in the bio. We're pretty much just using my Polaroid overlays and just having them pop up. And then I have one just sort of wiping on the frame. And that works as a transition to get us from this to this clip to the next clip. And yeah, just to top it off right over here, we have another use of my night sky overlay. But this time I have it set to pin light, which just gives it a little bit more of a dramatic look. Doing the same thing again, and now you see that I'm using another little piece of my film scans pack. And I'm just sort of having them shake onto frame, and then just kind of pop off. Now, it doesn't fully cover the screen, but it sort of draws the viewer's eye in, so you can still use it as a transition. It's almost like a mask. But the fun thing about these ones is that if you go into Photoshop, these are actually 100% customizable. Now there's a font that I have linked in my pack. It's not a font that I made, but you can download it online for free or just grab it in the pack. But yeah, over here you can actually update these to say whatever you want. So if we wanted to make it, you know, something different, you can just do that. And you can always play around with the, the position of this. You know, I have a couple effects on here that are just stock Photoshop plugins. But yeah, you can do that just to brand it, depending on if that's your editor name or just whatever you're trying to do. But, you know, I'm just gonna keep it the same. I think it looks kind of cool just being classic. But yeah, just like that, you know, just have them pop on the frame and then just stagger off. And you got a fun little look. But yeah, definitely head to my website. They just appreciate all the support. So I wanted to make this free pack for you guys just so you can kind of get a taste of what I'm selling on my store and spice up your edits a little bit.